afternoon. Uh, my name is Chris Bergai from Dental TI and I'm here at Dr. Gerald Landy's office to do some troubleshooting and really create a video that's going to give us an easy way to use third-party sensors in EagleSoft Imaging. So first what I'm going to do is I will select our patient. We've just got a test patient open. I'll select the imaging module. From here, we have new exams that have been set up specifically, a Bitewing FMX specifically for our sensor, so the sensor orientates correctly. Um, and this is just going to happen when uh, we assign the tooth numbers and the templates when we set them up uh, for that particular sensor, for a third-party sensor. So first off, I'm going to select our Bitewing. And as you can see, up in the top, there is a little scanner button in the top. That's because this template it has been set up to use uh, the third-party integral scanner or a Twain device. So any sensor that comes with a Twain or has the ability to use a Twain can be used in the third party, or as a third-party sensor in Patterson Imaging. From here, we right-click and acquire image from our default source, which is also the scanner. So we select the default source. It's going to open up the sensor. Once it turns green, it's ready to capture. We're ready for exposure, so we're ready. Uh, we're in a bite wing layout. We're ready to take our premolar bite wing. Yeah. This goes here and vice versa. Looks good. Okay. I just went through and flipped each of the images. Uh, this was because I took them in a different order than the, what the, the layout was set up in this particular office. Um, typically, and that, that's something that can be customized completely within the software. So if I close, uh, yes, I want to save the changes. Now we're saved. If I wanted to go in and look at these individual templates to adjust the orientation, all of the sensor images are going to come in as a, as a lower interior. So based on that, you're going to rotate the, rotate the image accordingly uh, to the corresponding part of the mouth. So I'll go into List and then into Image Templates. So under the Bite Wing series here, go ahead and click OK. As you can see, the scanner source um, if this, if we were using the Shek 33 sensor, select sensor because we're using a Twain, we'll use the scanner. We can also change the uh, if we wanted to flip, for example, this image. If we wanted this to be uh, flipped, we would rotate it by 180 degrees. Um, if we wanted the image to uh, to naturally uh, rotate 90 degrees, we could do the same thing. And the most important thing, when you're setting up a template in EagleSoft, when you click on the image info for that particular um, area or that particular tile, you want to make sure and label the teeth that you're going to be uh, selecting. Normally, I would have, and that would be. What this is going to allow for you to do is to be able to sort your images specifically by tooth number and make sure that they're, uh, they are labeled correctly in the series. Just click OK and you're off to the races. So as you can see, if I look at the FMX, you can see that your images are rotated. So for example, your lower interior is going to be rotated 270 degrees, or your upper is going to be rotated 90 degrees, your bite wing has no rotation um, on the left side, on the right side you have a rotation of 180 degrees.
take anything out. Okay. So, I'm, so first thing I'm going to do is select the patient. I'm going to just select a test patient. From there, we will click on the view images so we can see the images that were taken. We could also click our digital x-ray uh, uh, here off to the left as well. That's going to bring up and automatically initialize the sensor for us. Um, this is going to be taking just a normal, uh, an individual PA if we just click the x-ray button. If we wanted to actually capture a series or a layout of series, uh, or a layout of images, so if we wanted to click our, our bite wing series, we'll click our bite wing button over here. So you just closed out of the other one? Correct, correct. And I can, because the default source has been selected, I can either click the acquire image up here at the top, right, or I can right click and acquire from the default source, which is also the scanner. So I select that, it'll initialize the sensor. Once it turns green, it is ready for exposure. So if I want to, so if I want to go to, from taking an uh, immediately just to sensor ready and taking a PA, if I click the, the tube head over here to the right, go ahead and click that, it's going to go ahead and initialize the sensor, have it, have it ready to go. It's armed here once it turns green, and we're ready for our exposure. Once we're finished, we'll click our stop capture. If we wanted to take multiple x-rays, we could go ahead and take another x-ray. Once we're done taking all the x-rays we want to take, we take we click stop capture and then click return the image. If we if you had certain images that you did not like, you wanted to delete one out, you absolutely could do that. Click return image and it's going to save the image right into EagleSoft Imaging. If you wanted to go straight into one of the formats, how would you do that? Okay, so if we close this out, if we wanted to go right into one of the formats, we'll click on the x-ray screen here. From here, it's going to come up. We can select our new exam. So if we wanted to do, a, a, for example, and if we wanted to start our FMX, we click FMX and right click to acquire from or click the acquire button on the toolbar which will initialize our sensor we'll take our images when we're completed stop capture and the button right here with the that's grayed out with the check will allow us to return those images right into the template with the correct orientation on the images